Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as Blood Cancer Identification Using Hybrid Ensemble Deep Learning Technique, which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So, we all know that blood cancer is a life threatening disease, and the, the yearly detection of the blood cancer will make the diagnosis better and will prevent from the death or any causes of the damage to the patient. But the problem is that there are various classifications of the blood cancer available. So in this base paper, the authors have used uh, two classification that is normal and leukemia and they have used ensemble voting model and they have achieved accuracy of 95 percentage we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper so now let us see about the enhancements that we have done in our proposed system so we are going to use mobile net v2 architecture in the proposed model and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 98 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 96 percentage so now let us see about the proposed system so the IEEE base paper title is blood cancer identification using hybrid ensemble deep learning technique and our proposed title is blood cancer detection and classification using deep learning so this is the IEEE base paper abstract now let us see about the our proposed abstract so as mentioned so we are going to employ mobile net v2 architecture using python and the data set that we are going to use is blood cells cancer all data set so which contains four classes so in the base paper there are only two classes so now we are going to classify four classes the main classification is benign and the, the malignant so in the malignant there are three different studies that is yearly pre-b pre-b and pro-b so when we are going to classify uh, the data sets as four different classes so it helps the patient according to their stages of the blood cancer accordingly the treatment can be given so this is the purpose of that we are expanding the classification and this data set contains 3242 pbs images that is peripheral blood spear images that is known as pbs images and uh, now let us see about the i'll show you about the data set images so in the model folder we have the data set folder where we have the four classifications that is benign pro b pre b yearly pre b so now let us show me show you all the images that is available so this is the images that is available in benign which contains 512 data set images and in yearly pb this, these are all the images that is available in the yearly pb which contains 979 images and in pre b malignant pb which contains 955 images so these are the images of the malignant pre b and in pro b which contains 796 images so these are the images that is available in the class pro b so these all are the images that we are going to train up so the total images is 3242 images so we are going to use the deep learning model and we have achieved the accuracy of training 98 percentage and the validation accuracy 96 percentage and these are the things that is mentioned in the in our proposed abstract coming to the existing system as mentioned so the base paper is considered as existing system here so they have used ensemble voting classifier those details have been described here and here we have listed the disadvantages of the existing system those details have been mentioned here and coming to the proposed system so the details of the mobile net architecture the classes of the data set and the proposed core concept of the proposed system details will be mentioned here and coming to the advantage of the proposed system so we have listed the advantages of our proposed system and coming to the system architecture it contains the blood cell cancer all image data set and pre-processing which is mentioned made and mobile media architecture and the printed result is classified as benign or malignant or 
Preby or malignant Proby or malignant early Preby or the perform the analysis and graph seeding class which is all the system requirements hardware and software requirements so as in mentioned so we have used python the version that we have used is python 3.10.9 and the web framework that we have used is flask the front end part we have used html css and javascript and this is the reference of the base paper So before execution, make sure that you fulfill the requirements that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of Python on the libraries installed in your system. So now let us see the execution of the project. So first copy the source code location. Now go to your command prompt. First go to the drive location where you have pasted the code. In my case, I have pasted that code in F drive. So you will go to the F drive. Now type CD space and paste the location that we have copied and click enter so now we are into the source code location so now type python app dot py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes So now you can see the URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser, I'm going to Google Chrome and paste the URL that we have copied and click enter. So now you can see the home screen, I will come screen of the project with the project title, blood cancer identification is in deep learning. First click this login menu will be navigated to the login page kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button so now you can see the login success message and click ok so now it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to upload the image to predict the result of the image so just me choose choose image and now you can go to the project folder where you can find the test data and you can select which of the images you wanted so now let me go to the one of the classes banana and let me select an image and now you can preview the image that we have selected and then click submit so now you can see the prediction result the predicted result is banana so now let me click the preview menu again to check with other image so just select the choose file again and this time I'll go to the class yearly preview and select an image. This is the image I have selected and then click submit. So now you can see the uh, image that we have selected and then the predicted result is malignant yearly preview. And now let me go to the preview part again to check with other case. Let me go to the pre-B this time. I select an image from the test folder. Let me click submit. And now you can see the image is being printed correctly as malignant pre-B. Let me go to the preview part again. Let me choose file and go to the other class pro B. And let me select an image. This is the image I have selected and then click submit. So now you can see the printed result is pro B. So now let me go to the preview menu. So here you, you may ask two different questions. One is like what happens if we are going to use some other images. So the other than images of the blood cancer images, if you are giving some uh, uh, a different photo car or a human image, so it just gives a random result only because we cannot train the model with all the images that is available in the world. So only the images that we are trained up with you can give. So you can, if you wanted to give some other images of the blood cancer images which is not trained, you can give that one. That you will be predicting the the model will be predicting the result. Uh, uh, according to the images that we have trained up with so let me choose image so this time i'm just i'll just go to the model folder so i have shown you all the one single cases from each of the test images now this time i'll show you with the trained folder so let me go to the data set folder i'll just go to a class here so there are various images available so i'll select a random image so this is the image i selected and click submit and now you can see it is printed correctly as yearly preview. So in this way you can check with the 
images that is available in the data set and in the test folder also this time i'll go to the pre-b folder i'll select an image which is available uh, randomly and let me click submit and now you can see it is printed correctly as malignant pre-b let me go to the preview part i'll go to the pro b part and click submit and now you can see it is printed correctly as malignant pro b let me go to the preview part let me go to the benign folder select an image and click submit and now you can see the better result is benign so in this way you can check with the images that is available in the test and try and folder so now let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis so just click this performance analysis menu it will be navigated to the performance analysis part so here you can see the performance analysis parameters like accuracy precision recall and f measure value so you can see the accuracy is 0.96 precision is 0.96 recall value is 0.96 f measure is 0.96 and you can see the confusion matrix which contains the true unprinted label of the classes 0 1 2 3 with the true and pretty label of the four classes that we have discussed so this is about the performance analysis part of the project and final comes the chart part so once you click this chart you can see two different that is model loss and model accuracy kindly note that this is a chat static chart because you are not using any database in the project so this chart has been depicted from the model code that we have developed so here you can see the model loss graph which contains the loss and epochs that we have developed in the project and second graph contains the model accuracy graph which contains the accuracy and the epochs so these are all the things that is available in the chart part so now let me log out so this is all the, about the project blood cancer detection and classification using deep learning using python and thank you for watching